Non-functional requirements. Non-functional requirements, or NFR, better called quality attributes, are sometimes called the illities requirement. Any word ending with illity will probably be a non-functional requirement. We have maintainability, usability, portability, scalability, reliability, safety, and understandability as examples of non-functional requirements. ISO 25010 listed the most used quality attributes. Let us talk about some of those qualities together. While learning more about them, I want you to imagine each quality attribute. Wonder what will happen if we forget to include such a requirement in our system for any reason. Examples of non-functional requirements are Efficiency is how the software will use the resources like disk space, RAM, bandwidth, it's essential to know the difference between effective and efficient. Effective means the job is being done correctly. In contrast, efficient means it does it correctly while using the right resources in the right way as much as possible. For example, suppose I need to travel from France to England. In that case, any travel medium I use will be effective as long as it will get me to my destination. However, taking a plane to go faster is efficient, unlike taking a car or a bike. Efficiency is picking the right tools to get the job done with the lowest costs, effort, in the shortest time. A short story regarding efficiency in a project I was working on. Everything was perfect, and the testing went well. After we deployed the software to the customer, she apologized the next day, saying she had to uninstall it. We asked why. She told us the software takes 100% of the processor's time, making the processor unable to run any other software except ours. Therefore, the software was effective and passed the functional requirements, but not efficient and did not pass the non-functional requirements. Flexibility is how easy or hard it is to add a new feature to the software. Sometimes software is so hard to add a new feature you need to demolish the software entirely and build a new one. Generally, this means the software was not well designed. A perfect example of flexible software is Firefox. Firefox was the first browser known for the plugins feature. For instance, while using your browser, you can add a Play Movies plugin, allowing Firefox to play movies whenever you need it. It can be used for displaying PDFs or editing Microsoft documents, for example. It is so flexible that you don't even need to touch the software or its code. Integrity, or data integrity, defines data quality, which guarantees the data is complete and has a whole structure. Data integrity deals with the validity of data and making sure the data is correct and not corrupt. Backing up, design, a suitable user interface, and error detection or correction are some means to preserve integrity. Interoperability is exchanging data or services with other software systems. Here we're making sure our system can operate with more than one other system. For example, if my software can connect to the employer's HR system written using the SQL database, that means that the software is communicating with SQL, which is expected functionality. But if the HR system is replaced with a new one that uses Oracle and still my software can connect to the HR system seamlessly, so the software was developed to operate with either SQL or Oracle without the need to change anything internally. That is interoperability. Usability, as we all know, is when the system is easy to use, user-friendly, the interface is appealing, documentation is understandable. If users browse different pages in our software, they should expect the same look and feel on every page. The user shouldn't have to learn anything new to use each page. Maintainability is how easy and fast it is to fix a particular bug or add a new feature. We don't need to bring the whole software down and rewrite some components to fix the bug. It should be easy. Maintainability is also defined as the probability that a successful repair operation will occur within a given time. In other words, the ease and speed with which the system can be restored to operating status after the failure occurs. For example, suppose that a particular component has a 90% maintenance capability for an hour. 
This means that there is a 90% chance that the component will be repaired within an hour. Probability is the effort required to move or migrate software from one platform to another. Does the software work in Windows alone or mobile too? What about Mac, Unix? Actually, for most of my career in Canada, I worked for a couple of companies. We were supposed to release the software on both, Mac and Windows at the same time. So we have to write the code in terms of the two platforms. That wasn't easy. Again, a requirement like this must be known from day zero. It's a different style of design and coding. Reusability is an attribute in which software or its module is reused with very little or no modification. Using reusable components means using already proven tested components. The higher the reusability, the shorter the development life cycle would be. Reusability is not an easy attribute to consider. It is challenging to design, code, or put requirements while bearing in mind all the possible opportunities that could happen in the future. So, for example, if I needed to create a printing component and make it reusable, the current requirements only state to print black and white documents, but we have to imagine other features or characteristics that we can put in that module so that whenever we plan to use it in another software, we can just plug it and voila, it is working without changing a line of code. Recoverability is the ability to restore your deployment to the point at which a failure occurred. Suppose we are uploading 1,000 records from an Excel file to our database. The computer suddenly shuts down at record 200. What do you expect the software to do the next time you restore it and try to upload the 1,000 records again? Will it say, sorry, you already have uploaded that Excel file before? Will it say, sorry, that record is duplicated for each of the first 200 records? Of course, this is unacceptable. Again, we have to plan for such activities. We will talk about more non-functional requirements in the next video.